Is that right? Is that what I'm trying to do? Yes. Or start without me unless I'm in the first scene or whatever. But I think we can wait a couple seconds. Um, I am going to try to get this one done as close to 9 o'clock as possible. Because I am kind of on a time crunch. So there's not going to be much time for anything. Okay, I'm back. That was longer than 10 seconds, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, we already played and finished. It's over. <laughs> I believe it. We're all dead. Yeah, okay. My backup character's great. It's just floating through space. Their ranger station was destroyed. Oh, I've got a backup chief of security Andorian. Uh, I've got chief security human. Um, yes, you probably do need to load it. Um, yes, do not use the dice roller. Do not. Do not. I repeat, do not. Oh my god. Nearly killed me the first time I did it. <laughs> I still, oh, I'm what? still having flashbacks. What? I'm just going to put it, I'm just going to put it on the very top as new guy. Just use that one. Yeah, no, no problem. Lieutenant New Guy. <laughs> I was afraid that was going to be me. <laughs> FNG. Oh, yeah. Well, just because this is a uh, one shot character. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, but other than that, everybody's here, right? Yep. See. Cool. And at least uh, Regov gave us somewhat of a uh, of a notice. All right, so I think I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Oh boy! Which is not very. And then, so whenever Captain's ready for the log, and if everyone else is good, I think we could. Get started. Captain's log 5328.1.1. We've been assigned to take the Sarek on our, well, not maiden voyage, but it might as well be. And we're going to shake her down on a mission to a nearby neutral star. I'm told we've just arrived. Should be quite interesting to see the Sarek in action for the first time. End captain's log. All right, so uh, you guys just uh, basically entered uh, just about sensor range of a neutron star. Um, you guys are basically uh, tasked to do the shakedown run of the Sarek, you know, to test ship systems, engines, warp, sensors, all that stuff. And, uh, you know, decided that this would be a good place to do it. You know, it's near enough to Narendra in case you needed to head back or anything. Um, and just for a little special thing, um, Admiral Heppert is on board the ship just because she wanted to be here. Um, but other than that, um, she's not going to be really relevant in the mission until later. So, go. Starx to the bridge. Yes, sir. Have we arrived yet? We're coming up to the system now, sir. 
I'm going to walk out onto the bridge. <clears throat> Commander, could you notify the Admiral? And Lieutenant Silo, could you start sensor scans? Right, right away, sir. And I'm going to take my chair. Okay, we'll go ahead and start the scans. Like I said, the Admiral's not important till later. Um, so to scan the star, it's going to be uh, your reasoner or control with your science or engineering, difficulty three, assisted by the ship's sensors and science. Um, so I put uh, task rule three or... Um, so, when, so when I say difficulty three, three um that's not the task role that's just how many successes you need to get so like a, a normal task roll is always two dice unless you spend threat or spend momentum to buy more dice okay so do i change anything for difficulty on my sheet before i roll it then uh no there shouldn't be anything to do with difficulty on your sheet i think okay, all you should, i think all you should have is complication and task roll um, the complication range is normally one unless I say otherwise, and the task roll is normally two unless you do special stuff. The difficulty is simply how many successes you need to get. Okay. Did we, did we give him Maddox's sheet? Because I don't see his sheet. I thought... I don't Captain think it's kept, like, Captain did. anyone else's sheet right now either. And how do I actually roll that? I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you, do you have a sheet? It's at the top of a new rep reputation roll. Yeah, oh, I, thought, I thought that was a Keo. Yeah, that is. And ah, the ship's no help. figured it out. Okay, so who's... I don't even see that sheet. I don't see it either. Uh, I think Harmon did it, gave it to him. Yeah, Harmon set it up for me. Yeah, but I still should be able to see the sheet. At least I should be able to, and that's what's weird. Are you under um, engine characters? Uh, who, me? Silo. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait I no, see him, yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm see not, see. like, in it. I'm, yeah. All right, I just got to give the captains and commander able to view it. But I see it now. There you go. Now I think you guys should see it. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, it I got lost. It got lost a little bit. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, so we had three successes with that, right? Um, yes. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't Yeah, you did. It's a lot. Yep. All right, so you got... Uh, you roll the focus, hmm. That's you have nice. astrophysics, right? Um, I, I didn't know yeah. if, it, if I should take astrophysics or, or sensors, um, but That's I have... A, sensor systems would work for the focus. Okay. So yeah, so yeah, that's fine. I could give you the info. So how do I know if it's a success or a failure, then? Is it rolls uh, under three? So, uh, so on the in the chat, you see how it kind of says your name, and then it has like a two and a one. Those are how many successes your dice have rolled. Oh, okay. And then you see how, how below it it says Starship Task, and it rolled a zero. It has a zero. That means it failed. Okay, so I got the three. Okay, makes sense. Got it. Yep. Thank you. All right, and then generally, what I do is uh, your silo, right? Silo. Yeah, silo. Okay, so generally what I do is I'll send you the information that you gained from the test to the Discord chat so that you can role-play it. Um, you could read it and then role-play it out. We also okay. got a bonus momentum from the high-resolution sensors. Cool, that, that's, that's, used, that's used for um, obtaining information. From that. Yes. Okay. So I say... Uh, and then so essentially... So essentially, his position gets uh, two bonus momentum to ask yep. question. Okay. Um, Captain, the star that was here has uh, collapsed into a neutron star, only about 10 kilometers in diameter. Uh, this star contains twice the mass of Earth's own sun. C 
do we want him to scan to see if any like solar events might happen soon? That would be the obtain information. Well, we we have we're we're gonna lose one if we don't use it. We're gonna lose two. If we don't. Oh, use we're gonna it. lose two. Yeah. So, I'm just saying, trying to come up with a good question so we don't waste that. I mean, that's a good one to ask. Yeah. Are we like in proximity of it collapsing in the next hour and a half? Well, it's already collapsed. I mean, further. Yeah, that's towards the, the black hole scenario. That's what I'm hoping to get with the first question. Oh, okay. Well, then that. So, is that what you guys want to ask? Yeah, I'll. <laughs> okay, I will accept it. Here's the answer to that. Um, so, as I'm looking it over, um, say, had the initial star uh, been larger than it was, um, it might have collapsed instead into a black hole. As far as if anything's going to happen in the near future, I don't have that information. And this was a scan of the system, right? Oh, the star. That's about oh, the only star. thing in it. Okay. Yeah, it's about the only thing in it. Only thing of note. The only thing I think of is any regular or anomalous readings coming from the star that's not typical of a neutron star. It's the only thing I can think of for the second question. Or, or maybe... Uh, just if it's safe in general. Like any thing that's emitting that could be hazardous, potentially hazardous to the ship, is what you're thinking? Um, to the ship or, or just in general, like you said, if it like might explode or have any sort of like solar anomalies that could... I don't. I don't know how broad you can you can be. Like, if, just if there's any danger with it at all, I don't know if you can ask that. I think we. I think we should ask if there's any, if it's it, it emitting any kind of radiation or other. If it's emitting anything that would harm the crew or the ship. That sounds good to me. So. Lieutenant, do you think it could cause any harm to the crew or the ship? Um, I detect no har harmful particles coming from the star currently. All right, uh, what are you guys doing with that information? Um, I mean, I'm thinking we were here, sent here to test stuff out, so the sensors seem to be working. Uh, I think you're you're doing that. Captain, uh, sensors have detected a metallic object shaped like a child spinning top toy. Doesn't appear to be a threat at the moment. You say like a a metal top? Uh, yeah. Uh, like a, a, it's a toy, a child's toy. 
does it look like that or is it it's not a giant child's toy you're just telling me it looks like that yeah it's, it's shaped like a, a a spinning top toy what's the size of it all right uh so for the um Uh, for the uh, security officer, go ahead and roll me Reason and Security Difficulty 1, assisted by the ship's sensors and science or security. Doesn't uh, so, matter which one. All right, okay. Uh, you're going to have to sort of quickly walk me through how to do it with this system. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, on the character sheet. Yeah, um, So, like, all you got to do to do the roll is to collect whatever, or is to select whatever attributes you need to roll. So I think this one that I said, like reason and security, you just kind of highlight the reason and security. And then you see where it says dice roller? Yep. Um, just make sure that's on task roll two. And then if you think of any of your focuses would be applicable in this situation, you would put focus use yes or no. And then all you have to do is click the little Starfleet icon, and that rolls the dice. Uh, next to the task. Oh, next to the task roll, yeah. Yeah, like, like right before the numbers. All right, okay, here it goes. Well, your ship has not gotten a hit yet, but you got a success. Oops. So you get all of this information. And generated momentum for high resolution sensors? Uh, yes. Uh, Captain, to your question, it uh, consists of a rotating disc about 2,500 meters on diameter with a vertical pro protrusions emerging from the center of both sides of the disc uh, that taper upwards for about 1,000 meters. Uh, looks like it's starting at about 200 meters in diameter and coming to a sharp point at the end, hence the uh, child spinning top toy. The disc is extremely thin, uh, only about 40 centimeters in height. Can you see any discernible markings which might show its purpose or its origin? So you guys do get one um, bonus momentum for the sensors. Um, I will accept the question if you would like to use it for that. Any thoughts? I mean, that would be a good idea. Is, or life forms. Uh, visual, uh, what's the did, sorry, did we discern what the range is to this uh, object? Will we be able to pick see it on uh, this it's, screen? It's at least in sensor range, probably long sensor range. Oh, so we don't need probes to get to it? No. Oh, okay. Well, I, think if, I think if the disc is only 40 centimeters in height, that implies that maybe it's maybe not even man it's a depending. it's 40 meters not centimeters oh okay i thought you said it was gotcha yeah it's 2500 meters by a thousand meters and then like the the disc part is about 40 meters in height it's a space station yeah i'm gonna say so you think of like soul space station almost but maybe a bit thinner or ds9 we can ask if it's manned. That's a good question, if it's manned or not. Yeah, that was my question, was life forms. Your life okay. forms is a good question. Lieutenant, scan for life forms. All right, I will accept that question. And actually, I think you're actually going to get two bits out of this, which is OK. Captain, uh, sensors are uh, given off definite but indistinct life readings. They're too difficult to nail down, mostly because of the radiation from the collapsed uh, phenomenon. Captain, I would advise we go to yell alert until we uh, appertain the uh, nature of who we're dealing with. Our... Uh, I second that, Captain.
That's fine. Uh, yellow alert. Let's um, Ensign Michelson take us take us to um, fifty thousand kilometers. from the object. His voice sounds like he's trying to talk, but I don't hear him. You can't hear you, Michelson. Yeah, I can't hear you. Yep. Pop in and pop back out. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah. There you yes. Go. Yeah. Don't know what happened. Uh, I sir, closing at half impulse. Maneuver check for momentum. Sure. Uh, that would be a control con, I believe. Difficulty. What is it? Two. Zero. Zero. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Difficulty zero. And. Focus and helm operations and rolling. All right, two momentum out of that. And the ship's assist. That makes it three. Master Chief to the bridge. Yes, Master Chief. Uh, is everything all right? I just saw the call, the yellow alert alarm. We're investigating an odd uh, space station, Chief. No uh, cause for any real concern yet. Just uh, just have your department ready. Aye, sir. Will do. Captain, one thing of note. Uh, not only are we closing on the object, but the object is moving it slowly but surely. It seems like it's just carried by inertia. Towards us? Uh, I think it's towards the star. Lieutenant Silo, can we get a confirmation on that? Can you can you confirm if the uh, station is drifting towards the star? Roll me. Do do do. Uh, where's where's my notes? Um, probably reason science. Uh, we'll call it difficulty one. Um, would any focuses help me out with that? Computer systems, theoretical yes. physics, or subspace physics? Um, let me see. Or if I'm using the sensors to do so, I'm assuming. Probably, yeah, probably sensor systems. Would be fine. What did I say? Difficulty one? Yeah. Yes. All right. That will give you one momentum. So I have this at four. Yep. Okay. By the way, the doctor is admiring his new large sick bay. Uh, it appears the ship is traveling towards another nearby red star and will soon uh, enter orbit, well, soon being a few months. Uh, however, the orbit uh, will not be stable and will eventually be destroyed. So it's leaving our, it's leaving this solar system. It's going, it's going to, to another. Yes, sir. Commander. Yes, sir. Let's hail them. Could we use uh, a momentum to see if it, it's uh, propelling itself or if it's just drifting? We, we actually have the high resolution sensor, so we have the bonus momentum we should spend. 
Yeah, yeah. Like, you can ask that question. Not to mention the one from uh, the ops slash science station, too. Let's ask that question, and we'll see what we hear for the second one. If the ship is uh, propelling or if it's uh, just... Um... Yeah. Well, didn't didn't the uh, security officer already say that uh, just inertia was pulling it? That it already appeared to not be propelling itself? He did say that. Well, no, no, I no, that said that. Me, but yeah. It is possible it initiated that. I'll... Yeah, ask if it has any engines that look like it could start the momentum. Okay. Like maneuvering thrusters. Do, 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 do. Um, it appears that the propulsion, the propulsion is fusion based and not warp based, uh, but they're currently powered off. Wow. It could be that they saw us before we saw them. And... Is there any discernible damage to those systems? Is our second question. No. <clears throat> um, yeah, the answer to that's going to be that does not look to be damaged. Okay, then Commander Prax, let's hail them. Yes, sir. No response. See, I open the comm channel. Check your chat. No response, sir. I'm assuming that's on all channels. Yeah. Okay, Commander, I think we're going to... Uh, since they're obviously going to crash into this star and they're not communicating, let's... Uh, let's try to make contact let's you can take a shuttle might need to take the doctor maybe an engineer and whoever else you think is necessary yes sir um trans um transport should be operable for here though should be no need to take a shuttle uh, you need to be at close range to, to transport, yeah? Yeah, but we're we're pretty close. I mean, as far as stellar. Oh right, you moved closer. That's right. I yeah. forgot. Yeah, Sorry. we're we're basically orbiting the damn thing. Uh, not quite yet. Uh, if you if you are, then I missed a step. Captain, yeah, because I, I, I asked him to move to fifty thousand kilometers, which is pretty close for stellar stellar stuff. Okay. Cool. So as you guys move even closer to probably within transporter range, range, um, all your ship screens become fogged, fogged with static, and some of the sensors start returning nonsensical readings. Is it due to any transmission from the uh, unknown station? I would put it probably at the radiation. Lieutenant Silo, can you can you see what's disrupting our systems? But sorry, that was that was Wayne as a Star Trek fan. Do I roll something for that? No, I'm gonna give it to you because you guys kind 
because one person kind of already said it. Sorry. Oh no, that, that's that's a good guess because uh, you guys know the information. So. No. Uh, the closer we get to the ship, um, it appears our radiation levels have risen. Seems to be the uh, source of the disruptance. Bridge to uh, Chief Engineer. Master Chief here. What can I do for you, Captain? Can you boost our shields to block out radi to block block out the increased radiation? It's get, it's playing some havoc on the ship systems. I'll get ready on it, Captain. That would be what kind of check? I don't have a cheat sheet for that. Uh, modulate shields. That sounds fine. Um, normally, control security. Would I be able to wheel and deal that to engineering by chance? Uh, if you can give me a good explanation. Um, Just my basic understanding. Uh, oh, it's more science, honestly, I was about to say. But it's better than... Uh, anyway, um, my understanding of how radiation works and then modulating the shields more towards that, less towards energy disruption from uh, phasers and whatnot. Okay, I, I'll allow the engineering. Okay. Uh, I know I didn't use the right your in that. Difficulty two, yeah? Yep. Could I bring down that difficulty by one by using my engineering to, uh, staff? Yeah, yeah, I could allow that. Okay. Um, that's all I can think of to help, so we'll just go with that. And that is assisted by structure engineering, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it seems like a fine roll. I was trying to think of what the assist would be. But structure, either structure engineering, structure security, but they both have the same, so. Someone else can roll out there, the sheep, or sheet up, I'm uh, zero for three. And so is the chief, is zero for one. All right, so you you, mo you are able to modulate the shields, and you're able to um, disrupt the interference a little bit, but it's still coming through, or you still get some of that um, interference. But you figure you did the best you could. Master Chief Bridge? Captain here. I uh, did the modulation. We're tuning out some of it, but uh, might be the old systems. This is this is as good as what's going to get. We're going to have uh, mild radiation coming through anyway. Sorry, Captain. Is there anything I could do to our systems, uh, science-wise, to maybe um, cancel out the rest of the disruptance? Um, probably not. Uh, Captain, with all of this radiation and interference playing havoc with our systems, I would recommend not using the transporter to do anything. It could wind up in a fatal disaster. That's why I've suggested a ship, Ensign. Commander, since their systems are disrupted, or ours are disrupted, and theirs are giving no response, I think we can also assume that it may be damaging their systems. I think they're. Would... I would like. Um, I don't know. I would I believe the Seraph needs to move to a probably safer distance 
for the time being away from the ship. Um, however, I would like um, we can send an away team over using the shuttle, but I do believe we need to try to scan the reactor to see if the reactor is what's causing the uh, radiation leak. Their fusion their reactor. reactor. Yeah, their fusion reactor. Okay. I thought we had already established it was coming from the star. Did I miss that? No, it was established that it was the star. It was the star? Which is... Okay, two, yeah, it, okay. it's the neutron emissions from the star that's fucking with our systems. Excuse it, me, messing. It, I missed it, that. It, so it was not. You guys were on the right track before. It is coming from the ship. Oh, okay. Never mind. Ignore what I just said then. Okay, so I guess no scan is needed for that. Yeah. No, because uh, like when you guys were scanning the ship and when you guys got closer to it is when you started having the radiation problems. Right, okay. So the reactor seems to be malfunctioning, at least from what we can tell at this range. Possibly. Captain Starx to the doctor. Doctor here. Can you uh, can you take samples of the radiation that's coming from the ship to the station nearby and see if that's harmful to people? Uh, yeah. If uh, or yes, sir. If you find a way to get me a get me a reading on it, I can determine maybe what kind of radiation it is and what effects it'll have on biological samples. Have the transporter room beam you some into sick bay. Oh. Our, our, I guess you can't beam radiation in. Yeah, no. Um, if you get, um, if the science station can get me a reading on the type of radiation, I can get a generalized uh, look at what it may do. It depends on the radiation, honestly, Captain. Lieutenant Silo, can can you send our scans to the doctor? Right away, sir. So yeah, so then the doctor, all he needs to do because they already got the scans of the radiation. Um, you know, it, it's it's all in the sensor stuff. Just no one has um, how do you say, interpreted it. it yet. So this is going to be a medical task. Uh, where is it? Reason medicine. Uh, yeah, that that works for me. Um, let's call it. Uh, difficulty one. This may be the first okay. time in medicine in like four or five weeks. How about that? Uh, what'd you roll? Yep. So you, you'll get two out of it. So you guys are at full, uh, full momentum. And where's my notes? All right. So as you, um, I'm just going to tell you this one because I didn't put it in my notes. Um, so as you study the radiation, um, you figure that short-term exposure is probably harmless, um, but you can give them like an anti-radiation injection to kind of counteract any effects. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, doctor to captain. Captain here. Um, I can inoculate the away team. Uh, if there's anybody on that station, they're either, depending on how long they've been there, it, they could have hours left, but for short term exposure, it shouldn't be a thing. Okay, can, let's I, um yeah, I can inoculate the away team. And then I start by the way, um off off camera or whatever, I inoculate myself immediately. Okay, doctor, can you uh can you start synthesizing that uh away team first and then give yourself uh pack up a kit with um I don't know 20 or 30 doses and meet the away team in the uh, shuttle bay? Uh, yes, sir. I can do that. 
I can, I can do that. Uh, and then I immediately start to go do all that and then head towards the shuttle bay. Well, Commander, you probably want to take, you're going to take the doctor and you probably want to take an en engineer and whoever else you think is necessary. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Silo, uh, Dr. Murray reported the shuttle bay. Uh, let's see, it's Wyatt, right? To your plan is? Yes, Wyatt. Lieutenant Wyatt and uh, Chief Altera report to the shuttle bay. And then uh, I guess someone can play a support character. It's, it's me and Michaelson just on the Sarek. Well, two of you Let's guys can see. play a support character. Yeah, no. What? I was just joking that the whole ship's leaving. Huh. Uh, what type of uh, well, we... support character do you think you'll need? You know, I think, you know, Tex might be a decent one to take, unless you think you want to come, Michelson. Maybe gonna... we send a pilot and a security so that we yeah. have two main characters on the ship in case anything happens because we could need the we could need the stats of regular characters if something happens when would that ever happen i'm gonna take talk <laughs> then I'll, because I'll take, pirate voice <laughs> then i'll take a pilot if we've got enough room left yeah should all right so i don't I don't think you need to bring seven people, but that's just the game master saying that. I mean, it was yeah. a chance for everyone to play, so yeah. I mean, I I think five would be all right. Well, then we'll just go with the five main characters. All right. Yeah, because it sounds like Michaelson kind of played this one, so. Yeah, I have. I GM'd it. Yep. Yeah. I report to the shuttle bay. I'm already there. I'm hiding the out for a make him away. Actually, uh before I leave main engineering, could I call for a damage report to make sure to see if any systems are damaged by the radiation so far? There is not. Okay. I mean, minus the glitches that the consoles are experiencing. Okay. I also insist that everyone wears the EV suits after getting inoculated. That's Just the whole in case. Point was for inoculation, so we don't have to wear EVA suits. It's a just-in-case thing. Because I was going to say that before the whole inoculation came out, but. Yeah, but we also don't. Yeah, we can take them along in the shuttlecraft and put them off if we have to. That's fine. That's fine. Yes, that's acceptable. All right, I guess we're taking the shuttle out. And which one? Be careful with that threat. Well, there's only one that I think we could take for this many people. Wish we had the runabout. Would it use opportunity since we have time? Or, oh, wait, there's a time constraint because people could be dying. Never mind. I think we can only take the Type 7. Well, that'll be fun. All right, type seven. Yeah, I'm just looking at the passenger list real quick. Or we can do the type eight. You can take the type seven. It's one threat. It's one threat, though. Wait, shuttles give threat? If yes. they're armed. Yeah, if they have phasers or something on it. Oh. Basically, if you touch anything other than your hand phaser, he gets threat. Unless you're using a runabout, they don't give you threat. 
if they're armed, they still count as an escalation. More phasers in space, as it were. Just take the Type 7. Yeah, okay. uh, it's fine. Every time You're I take the Type 7. Far away. Yeah, but every time I take that out, is there's always phaser fire in space. I saved you. You, you should. You should. You, I'll, I'll be able to save you again if I need to. All right, type seven away. All right, cool. So uh, the shuttle trip to the thing in space is nice and easy. And as you approach it, you do notice that there are scattered bits of scarring along the hull. I begin taking pictures uh, f through the cockpit glass with my uh, holographic imager. I, tennis silo, uh, scan for a place that we can dock. Uh, uh, so, so hold on, that you don't actually have to scan for. Um, as you guys, you know, as you guys are flying toward the, around the ship, um, you notice obvious docking doors on the rim of the main disc. And there also appears to be some type of engravings and painted symbols on those docking doors as well. Can I make a check to see if I recognize them or are they familiar? As you guys, as they are put through the translation, um, the translator, um, nothing matches the ship's libraries. Well, that's unsettling, Commander. It's first contact situation. Yeah, too bad they're all dying. We don't know that yet. They could be also immune to the radiation. There are very few species that that could be, and most of them have translations in that in the database. Now that we're closer, are we able to use the shuttle sensors to do a better scan of the life forms on board? You sure are. Good eye. Uh, um, is that uh, reason and security again? Uh, so yeah, this is well. This one is probably yeah. Reason security is fine. Um, if you're at a panel in the shuttle, that is. I think there's only two workstations. That's right, yeah. So it, it depends who's flying and who's at con or at con. Well I would have been at con if we didn't have a science officer. I don't know if we took Silo or not. I think we did. We did. Silo's here. Con yeah, con is flying, so I don't know why a science officer would be important. Or well, you know, ops or whatever in the shuttle. Yeah, who's who yeah, yeah, just uh if if the uh if the security officer is at is flying the shuttle, he can do the scan as well. Yeah, just say that he is, or I I think we should say that he is. Yeah, sure. that's fine. Uh, so it'll be a reason security, um, assisted by sensors, and we could go security. All right, awesome. Uh, difficulty. Uh... Uh, difficulty one. Perfect. Yeah, that those shuttle sensors. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, so I'm just going to bank that complication threat just because I want more threat. Do, 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 and this is what the scans tell you. Scans don't have appeared to have picked up any further uh, information on the life readings. However, it's a breathable nitrogen oxygen atmosphere, Commander. So within well safety margins for everyone. Well, uh, see if we can't dock.
Yeah, it says you guys are going to dock with the station then, or whatever the hell this is. Yep. All right. Uh, so you are able to dock with the um, with the docking doors, and uh, however, as you you know, you open up the shuttle's doors and try to open the state the stations. Uh, you notice that the doors are locked and unpowered. There does seem to be a manual release on the outside of the door. But there are no power. There's no power going through any parts of the door. It's a good thing we packed the AVA suits. Yeah. Um, who has EVA training other than me? Not me. I do not. So, like, you guys are docked next to the door, and it does make the seal. So we can get out the door. Oh, because we can get right. out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. there are living things on the other side of that door, so okay. the atmosphere is there. Okay, so we docked like an actual pod docking to the side of a ship. Got it. So right. An airlock. And then, right. and then, as you open your shuttle's doors, it up it opens up to the doors on the other side of the station, but those are locked and unpowered. If that does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Kind of like okay. an airlock. Right. All right. Well, uh, let's. Lieutenant Wyatt be on guard, and then I'm going to attempt to open the door. Uh, how? Did you say it was lock. the manual lock? There's like a kind of a manual release that has a cover on it. Okay, I, hope I pry the cover open. All right, uh, this will probably be fitness uh, security difficulty one. To try to pry the cover off. Uh, Commander? Yes, Chief? Uh, do you want my toolkit? There's probably something I could pry that open. Actually, Chief, why don't you uh, take over and get it open? Seems more up your alley. Aye, sir. I'll uh, approach the door and I'll take out my uh, toolkit to hopefully. Uh, I don't know if the if I if it waves the roll for it just makes it easier. Uh, it probably just makes it easy. Well, it probably uses better stats and probably makes it easier. Um, let's go. Um, probably control engineering and with your tools. Uh, we'll go ahead and make it difficulty zero. Uh, I mean, like you need the momentum, you're still maxed out. But yeah, so uh, you are able to get the uh, get the cover off, and it kind of uh, opens up into um, the the release to the door, but um, it's still going to need some type of power to make to actually use the release. Well, I'm going to need a battery to get this going. Um, Commander, if you don't mind, I I think I can look around in the shuttle. There might we might have a spare battery lying around in the storage somewhere. Could you use a phaser ba- uh, phaser power cell? Um. Possibly could, but I just don't know if you want to use your, uh, drain one of your uh, phaser batteries. But that should work. Sir. Could I attempt to reroute power from the ship? Or from the shuttle, rather? Yeah, we probably could. Uh, reroute probably... some of our power into the door. To the door control yeah. panel. Do we have connection? That's what engineers are for. <laughs> no, no, you're 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 at the console. Sir. That, that's why I was asking. I didn't know if the shuttle had made connection with. Uh, usually, part of docking procedure, it connects as part of the procedure. But I don't know if the shuttle did that or not. I think what he's saying is, can you rig something to connect to it from the oh, shuttle? Oh, like jump leads. Right. Oh, yeah, we're jumping the door. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, I can probably rig something up like that as well. That's another thing I can do. Um, how difficult would that be, I think? Um, so if you were trying to use uh, the phasers or maybe even a portable power generator, you're not sure if it will have enough power. Um, but you know for sure the shuttle does. Because you could just tap into the ship's power systems. Um, all right. Yeah, the best but our best bet then would be the yeah. If we hook in the shuttle, that would be our best bet. I can get to work on it right now if you want, sir. Make it so. Very good, Commander. All right, this is going to be a uh, control or reason with your engineering difficulty three, and it is going to cost one power from the shuttle. Uh, electroplasma power systems focus? Yeah, I think that will work wonderful here. Uh, could I get an extra pair of hands, please? I don't know which one of you are trained in uh, a good fine officers are trained in engineering. Um, I, I have a bit of bit of knowledge, of course, not as much as yourself. That's all right, Lieutenant. That uh, that's a great learning experience. Um, do I roll something for that, or um... so? Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to roll an assist roll. So you're just going to roll whatever stats the chief is rolling, uh, but only one dice. So instead of a task roll two, it's going to be a task roll one. Got it. And what are you rolling, Chief? A reason engineering. That's actually not bad. Oh, I have... Uh... I have a talent, but I don't know. I have technical expertise, but I don't have the description for that on me. I forgot to write that down. I don't think that works for assists. I think you have to be the main role. Okay. Um, would quantum mechanics give me focus in this? No. Uh, no, I don't think uh, that one would. Xenotechnologies for hooking up to this somewhat alien. Ooh. Door. I think that one would be applicable here. Um, I didn't roll with focus. I'm not sure exactly what that applies, but it would have just upped your crit range. Yeah. Which uh, with an eight roll of eighteen, I don't think would have done it. Um. However, I'm just going to make this succeed at cost. So um as you so as you try to shunt the power into the system, you kind of tell the lieutenant the lieutenant to kinda of, hey, give me more juice, give me more juice. And eventually you just kind of pump so much power into the airlock that it kind of forces itself open. Uh however, you're not sure if you're able to get it closed again. Ah crap. Well well, sir, it's open. Um I do not believe I'll be able to close it with the systems now. I think we blew something. Silo scratches his head and looks at the chief, and he's like, I, I think I blew it. I'm sorry. No, no, uh, it's fine, Lieutenant. It's This sort of thing happens. And uh, so as the doors open up, can everyone roll me? That Everyone on the shuttle, please roll me Control Command Difficulty 2. And I would suggest the people with a higher command potentially go first. Um, I move complication range to two then, or, or? No, complication range is always one unless I say otherwise. Okay. Um, but when I say difficulty two, that's just how many successes you need. Okay, so everyone that failed this roll. Um, you are going to give yourself the temporary trait of overwhelmed senses. Um, for the duration of the mission, all your tasks are going to increase in difficulty by one. Oh, thank God, I passed. So I, I think three people failed and 
two people pest. Uh, the Doctor and uh, Luke Wyatt. Who's that? I'm oh, sorry. Wyatt succeeded, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah Wyatt and the Doctor passed. Everyone else failed. Oh, dear gods, what is that? So uh, then I got a little bit to read, so... To do... So as it dies, the doors open, they kind of open into like a, kind of like a dark corridor that kind of goes off to either side. Um, and you do notice that there are light fixtures and computer terminals, but they do seem unpowered. And what you notice right away about the corridor is that it is eerily silent. And there are mild, mild odor, odors of flowers and fruit with no obvious source. As you guys kind of step on, onto the structure, um, you tend to notice that um, that you do have less interference um, from your tricorder scans than you normally did it in before, and that there are enormous biosignatures on the other side of the corridor wall, kind of like toward the inside of it. Okay. Uh, my tricorder is out, by the way. Um, and, uh, I don't, I, I want to do a scan since we're closer and don't have the, the, um, interference of the life forms. And can I use xenobiology as a focus? Maybe. Hold on. At this point as well, I've positioned myself at the front of the uh, the away team down the corridor. Right. Um, so really all your tricorders are picking up is that there are large amounts of biosignatures on the other side of the wall. It's just having a little bit of a hard time actually penetrating the wall. Okay. okay. By the way, I don't have the little probe part out, so my my phaser is in my other hand. Commander, should I try and see if I can power on some of these computers and see if I can learn anything. Go ahead and see if there's power by considering that with the door, um, there may not be any power running to this whole entire section, it seems like. All right, I'll, I'll go up to the some of the computer systems and um, see if I can get them powered on somehow. Um, how is this somehow? Um, I'm going to, uh, see if, uh, powers maybe like not coming to this area or if maybe the machine, um, just needs something rerouted or just needs to be turned on in a way that we're not familiar with. Yeah. As you uh, approach the, the consoles, the lights, there, there's no, as far as you could tell, there's, uh, no power running through anything. By the way. I'm slowly going closer towards the life forms. Slowly. And, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Mir, please Mir. stay close to the group. It could be that they've uh, noticed our approach and shut down this sector, Commander. All right. Uh, I mean know we're here, we might as well announce ourselves. Right, but right. we don't make, make any... On a, I don't want anyone going off on their own. I want everyone to kind of stay close together because we don't know what we're walking into. That wasn't from anything I learned. That was just out of character. Well, I mean, I'm going to still be in this room. I'm just going closer. I'm not... The, I don't the life forms were on the other side of the bulkhead. Yeah, I'm going closer to the bulkhead. Is what I was saying. Sorry. But I'm still in the same room as the group. So he just kind of walked across the hall to the inside of the wall. Okay. From what yeah. I gather. 
Yeah. I'm get, I'm going to have my uh, uh, holographic imager out. I'm just recording what we're seeing as we approach. Basically documenting what we're seeing. Lieutenant Wyatt, Lieutenant Silo, see if you can't find a, a doorway to the other side of the corridor. Get us out of this. Uh, I'm guessing it's just a long or a tunnel that kind of dead ends. It So it, it kind of... Like it kind of goes off to the, either the right or the left, and it kind of curves with the stage with uh, the exterior wall. You know, it kind of curves, makes a circle. Okay. Uh, yes, I, I get straight onto that and I start uh, looking visually rather than using a tricorder. Um, I'm just gonna follow Wyatt and uh, be sure to give him some cover. Okay, so you all cut, just kind of pick the side to walk down. Yeah, we've gone yeah. left, and we're just going to um, sort of have a look at well, just a general visual look. Okay. Um, so as you guys are kind of slowly making your way down the corridor, um, maybe after a few hundred meters, you do eventually um, reach a door that seems to lead further inside the station. Is the door open, or is it like just closed and unpowered, like everything else in the station? Uh, it's closed, locked, and unpowered. And the corridor continues round. Correct. Commander, we could see if we can try and pry this door open. Uh, it probably loops all the way back round. We're on the outside corridor. Is there a manual release on the door? There is. I could give that a go. Just... Yeah, let's give it a try. All right. Um, let's go. Uh, control and engineering. I think difficulty one. Is the chief with us? Yep, I'm uh, falling behind you with my camera. Chief, do you want to try and get this door open? Aye, sir. Um, actually, uh, Doctor, do you have something for my eyes? I, ah, oh, they keep watering. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, I basically grab the equivalent of Visine and, or, you know, whatever that would do, and the hypospray, and just spray is, you know, give him the hypospray. Because I'm assuming that's not a something I would have to roll for. It's just yeah, it's just the hypo first aid. Yeah, there you go. You should be all right. Uh, try not to let the dust in this place get into your eyes. There's no telling what damage it could do. That's reassuring. <laughs> uh, am I under uh, overwhelmed senses still? Yes. So it would be difficulty. Time. So it would be difficulty two for you. Uh. Not to tell you your job, Doctor, but I didn't seem to help. Oh. Well, let's see. Well, I don't... It's Okay, and I'm going to go over and I'm going to scan the Chief to find out if there's anything medically wrong with him. In this time, uh, Silo, do you want to try and give the door pry while you're waiting? Sure, I'll give it a go. Sorry, I didn't wait. I mean, it was a normal medical scan. I would have. Yeah. I hope I, yeah. Did you say that that's control engineering? Ed? Uh, yes. Um, so, doctor, you find nothing that's that would be explaining the cause of this. Okay. Um, chief, I'm got good news. There's nothing physically wrong with you. Uh. I mean, there's, yeah, there's nothing physically wrong with you. Sorry, give me a sec. And I believe some people are trying to open the door. Uh, Silo, were you, if, you were not afflicted if I remember correctly, right? Um, no, no, I was. You were, okay. Yeah, it was just me and the security chief, or the security guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you you find it difficult to concentrate enough to get the door open. Sorry, 
some sort of mental blockage. This has to be like neurolo neurological, doctor. Well, um, I mean, I don't have re we don't really have the time for me to, you know, spend an hour with each of you to discuss your, you know, your parental issues, but. Uh, Excuse me, doctor. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's if it's a mental or a psychiatric thing, because there is nothing physically wrong with you, chief, I can show you the readings right now if you'd like to know. But. Uh, doctor, that that's enough. Sorry, my apologies. <sighs> uh, I can try and get the door open. I was actually gonna say whoever opens the door needs to suspend spend a momentum if you're under the influence to get an extra task That's roll true. dice. That's out of character, by the way. I don't know where those mechanics. I, I'm not sure if I can still do that. No, you can't. I don't think you can try anymore. I don't even know if we can try on the door. We can anymore. try on the door anymore. Okay. Someone else could try, but probably not the lieutenant. I okay. will try. But I'm going to use my past life, uh, Alaris, the engineer. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I could use as a focus for that because I've never used her before. That's um, just true, isn't it? Join true is. Yeah. Um, would electroplasma systems work in this situation? Uh, probably not because it's a manual release. Okay, oh, so something well, like, like, like so, so like so like this one is a manual release, where the so other one was, was like a powered thing. Oh, so we could just like yank it. Yeah, it's just it, it's uh, oh. it's it's a little bit more of a control test than just like yanking down a thing. It's a little bit of like a lock picking type thing, as opposed to like there's a manual release. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, then retcon, and I'll just do it normally. Although I may spend a momentum <laughs> for an extra dice, if that's okay. I, yep, I got, you, I got you guys down to five. Uh, cool. cool. And uh, the chief kind of brushes the sweat off his face and goes back to trying to pick the lock, and the door does eventually open after a little bit of work. The, the chief. Okay. It's the doctor that opened it. Oh, the doc. Okay, cool. Sorry. Um, <laughs> whoever, whoever opened the damn door. Um, so <laughs> as the door is open, you are assaulted by a wave of odors released from behind the environmental seals of the door. Fruits and other plants, animal scents, and power, powerful pheromone-laced emissions strong enough to overwhelm anyone accustomed to the antiseptic smells of a starship. I need everyone to roll... So roll me control command difficulty two again. And if you think you're going to fail it, I would try to spend momentum. And the people with the highest command, I would recommend going first. I'm sorry. All right. I, I am too. Yeah. I, I failed. Uh, uh, All right. So let's, so let's do this one at a time and let me know if you're spending momentum or not. I spent one. Okay. All right. And I'm spending one. I'm, the, I'm a lieutenant commander. So. It works, I guess. Okay, so I got you guys down to three. Damn it. Uh, Doc, you failed. I'll come back to what the fail means. Silo will use one. You said control command? Yes. I don't know how to roll another dice, but I guess I failed either way. <laughs> right. Well, you, you would just move the task rule to three, but you are correct. He, he could get a crit, so you, you should... Uh, just yeah, just, just put the put your task roll to one and roll the other dice. Okay. As you are right, you could crit. Uh, you do not, however. So that was three rolls. I need two more. I'll uh, I'll roll now. All right. How much momentum do, uh, do we have? Three. Two left. You got two. We gained one, didn't we? Though. Because it was difficult. No. no, it was difficulty one for the doctor, though. It, it was difficulty two. It was difficulty two for everybody. Uh, the base difficulty was two for this task. 
No, I'm talking oh, you, about the oh, door. You, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we three. gained Sorry. one. We yep, gained. Yep. Nope. You're right. You're right. You're right. I I forgot who rolled that. You're right. No need to argue about it. You're good. <laughs> um, I am going to try to invoke uh, pull your own weight or get left behind value to spend a uh, determination. Okay. Uh, the intention is to spend towards spirit of discovery to add three points to the momentum pool. All right, so okay, you got six then. I will spend uh, one momentum. Okay. That. And that was control command, right? Yes. Cool. All right, so I believe uh, Lieutenant Silo and the doctor failed this task. Um, so I for... did too. Oh yeah, because you do have a an increase by one anyway. Yeah. Who else has a difficulty increase by one? I did too, so I was right. affected by it. Everyone yep. but Wyatt. Yeah. So I uh, so okay. So Wyatt is Wyatt passed. He's the only one. Yeah, he's the only one that passed one. Okay, so for everybody else. Um, you are going to receive um, the trait, um, oh, what is it, Overwhelming Senses 2, but for this one, it's going to, uh, where is it, um, it's going to increase the complication range of every task you do to 2 for the remainder of the mission. All right, so if you got so if you failed both times, uh, you have a difficulty increase of one, and the complication range increased by one. If you just failed the second task, um, you just have the complication ranges too, and if you passed both, then you have nothing wrong with. It, which I believe is uh, Lieutenant Wyatt. I'm assuming composure wouldn't have counted, right? No. Okay. Commander, I recommend we advise the captain to, to this. Oh, God's almighty, this problem. I've been in battlefields that smell better than this. I believe uh, you, Doctor. So uh, before we go on, let me uh, read you the little thing. Uh, so, yeah, so I already read that. Um, to do so as you guys kind of look into the room the room is kind of dim and it looks to be like it's approaching some type of sundown you know with the lights inside the room um for characters who have not been overwhelmed by anything you quickly adjust to the gloom and realize that you are looking into an enormous jungle forest maintained within the ship itself and it is clearly large enough to fill the disc interior um, there are also sounds as well, such as like the buzz of insects and the, and the sounds of small birds and perhaps maybe some additional creatures, but you can't quite make them out. Um, and then the, the plants and trees of the forest are bewildering in variety. There are trees that stretch up 20 meters or more with vines that kind of look like Spanish moss, moss that connect to the higher branches that make kind of a messy canopy. And uh, they block the view of the ceiling in most places. Um, from the doorway that you are at, entering the forest involves stepping down into a steep slope covering several meters in height at a sharp angle. And that's all I had. So it's pretty much a giant arboretum. If I'm yes. saying that right. Yep. And I'm guessing this is the source for all of the life uh, signs that we've seen. No, there were life signs on the other side of the bulkhead I was staring at earlier. Unless this was the that bulkhead. This was the bulkhead, yes. Oh, okay. Then, possibly. Uh, can I... After I gag a little bit, can I make a scan to see if there's any like not i know there'll be bio signs but i'm looking specifically for moving bio signs 
you know, animals, humanoids. Lieutenant Silo, why don't you scan for uh, any humanoid type life signs that could be about bipedal Bi creatures? And Dr. Uh, Mir, you can uh, help assist him. Okay. All right, so this one is going to be, um, I would say, either reason and science or reason medicine, difficulty zero. Which is um, but, uh, but if you guys have any um, effects, adjust accordingly. Or that's difficulty one, complication two. Yeah. If, if you were affected with both, yes. Right. Cool. So you guys bank a momentum. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm going to send this to both of you guys then. Uh, and the doctor. I'm getting biosignatures all over this jungle. There's lower levels of the same ionic radiation encountered outside the craft. Uh, but I am picking up some larger energy signatures as well. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting. I'm more, I mean, yeah, the energy is upsetting, kind of, but the biosignatures, we don't know if they're hostile or if they're, well, not. I just resume uh, taking pictures with my recording with the camera, spend blinking a, away the, the wiping of my eyes all the time. Spend a momentum because we need to ask a question: what those bigger energy readings are. Yeah. Okay. I actually would like to spend a momentum myself, but uh, yeah. Uh, so I guess that would be two for additional information. I probably could have had you guys do two separate scans, but it's this is fine. Um, so we'll take care of that first, and then we'll we'll see what the doctor wants to ask and see if it's not another task or not. Um, it okay. appears these large energy signatures are more so electrical devices that are drawing large amounts of power. Did the uh, additional information give us like a location or a roundabout, a roundabout idea? It did not, and it probably won't. All right, whatever the doc wanted to ask. Okay, uh, I wanted to ask. Uh, because I know they're biosignatures. I I don't know if I'd be able to tell if they were like basically herbivores, omnivores, carnivores, or at least their size. Uh, probably a little bit of everything. You know, it is like a kind of like a jungle setting. Um, so 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 like you're 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 reading birds, you're reading insects, maybe some uh, like grazers. Uh, you you might be able to hear. Um, you you know, like like maybe maybe a predator, but like with scans, there's just so much biodiversity that you can't. It's hard to really get a clear picture of what exactly is here. So, with the information I have, it would be safe to say that this is a nature preserve kind of situation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well then I'll tell the commander that that it seems to be a like a preserve of some kind. Let's uh, find our way to the um, their fusion reactor and see if we can't fix the problem that it has. All right. Uh, keep an eye out for predators, just in case. Phasers out, Commander. Yeah. I'm all. Uh, I'm also taking point, being the only one not really affected by the uh, the smell that you guys are complaining about. Yep. 
I'll put away my uh, imager and I'll take out my uh, phaser. All right, so where exactly are you guys heading? Towards the reactor, I would assume. We find a way. We have to find a way to the reactor. I'm assuming. So, I could uh, assist someone trying to find it. Someone should take lead on scanning, though. It's really hard yeah. to focus on things. Um, Silo is stepping away from the computer for one minute. Well, to look for the reactor, we either go further into the uh, the nature reserve, or we go back out and carry along the river, but not the river, the corridor. So unless we find like a way down into the the spine of the star base, probably might be worth going into the center of it. So real quick, um, on the scans, kind of backtrack. Was there there were power readings coming from inside the arboretum? Correct. Let's head towards those energy signatures. Um, there might be a working console. I don't think we actually know the actual location of them. We just know there's energy readings. We can still move towards them. We can move towards the energy readings using a tricorder. A game of hot, cold, hot, cold. Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah. All right, so that's where you guys are. So, okay, so... Um, so as you guys kind of enter the forest, is there anything you guys are want to do specifically? You know, like it. So as you guys move through, you know, it's just a you know a typical dense forest, you know, trees, bushes, shrubs, uh, many of that you have never seen before that look completely foreign and alien, stuff like that. But uh, as we're walking, I'm kind of looking through my bag for anti an anti nausea hypo. I'll probably take out a tricorder, my spare hand, and scan what I can. More, may, not doing anything detailed, just more putting it into passive, just moving it toward the stuff we're passing and scanning it for study later. Because okay. I it. Silo's just being sure not to touch anything. <laughs> uh, why is literally watching everything? <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, Chief, roll me uh, reason engineering difficulty, I guess, for you it would be difficulty three. And I'm not sure about a complication for you or not. He would have complication range, too, because he failed both. All right, cool. I would three. say uh, spend three momentum for four die. Yeah. Um, oh, um, with my uh, audio receiver, I'm going to interface it with the the tricorder to try to give me uh, to try to give me more feedback, like uh, more like uh, to help me uh, get better readings. It's one of the uses for audio receivers to try to get better sensor readings. Sure. Um, so that's bring down the difficulty by any chance. Um. Or is it act as an advantage? Well, that's kind of what I'm saying. No, because because uh, like the the reason I'm having you scan is kind of a stretch anyway. So I think difficulty three would work. Okay, very good. Um, so three, um, momentum gets me two dice. Is that right? Yep. Two and then I got you guys at two momentum. Uh, yep, that's all I got. Can I assist as an advisor using command presence? Uh, sure. Well, then help, but he does get the reroll uh, a d20. Can I reroll that complication? Sure. All right, cool. All 
And I just had to add some stuff to this because it wasn't written how it should be. Do who did that? The chief did. Bam. Commander, my earpiece just alerted me to something. There seems to be fiber optic cabling underneath the soil. Uh, I think this might lead to a terminal. Based on my readings, anyway. Could you uh, just take a look at this real quick, make sure I'm not mixing that up. I take a look. I guess I pull back some of the brush and see if I can't find the cable. Okay. Um, you do pull back some of the brush and you kind of hit you, you kind of do find some of the cable that's kind of buried under a little bit of soil. I'll take pictures of it with my imager real quick and then rearm myself once I've gotten the picture. Do you think you can uh, use your tricorder to just follow the cable so we don't have to dig our way all the way to wherever it leads to? Yeah, I can do that, Commander. It's once I, Now that i found it, it stands out quite a bit. Lead on, Chief. Follow the man blinking his eyes. And I start moving forward. Commander, there's lights moving in the brush in the distance, up ahead. I stop. Uh, can I... Use and, my constantly watching talent. And well, currently you guys don't see anything. Oh, it's any, just lights anymore. moving in the brush. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like it was kind of like you think you thought you saw it, but you're not sure. Uh lights, you say? Yep. Lights in the in the brush, uh, just up in the distance. Does that coincide with where the cable's leading? No. That's not the panel, I say aloud. I suggest we uh, stress caution, but we should definitely keep moving. Let's keep heading towards the terminal, but keep an eye on the... for any more lights. Aye, Commander. This way, everyone. Alright, so you guys start heading further along the into the forest and uh as, as you guys maybe take you know maybe move 30 meters you guys hear what you think is uh bushes rustling near you all right i'm gonna do um i'm gonna try and detect for uh danger or hidden enemies uh, and use my constantly watching okay i don't know what the role is for that or if there is one uh it reduces difficulty by one okay just on the next task to detect something, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, uh, when you detect uh, hidden it or enemies or whatever. All right, cool. Uh, what would that be? Um, insight security? Uh, you don't need to roll anything for this. Oh, okay. But should there be a need to use that, it'll be kind of like a prepare action. I think that's how I'm going to use it. All right, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, so what are you guys doing after you hear that little rustle? I have my tricorder out. Mir, uh, see if you can detect what life sign is moving nearby us. Alrighty. Yes, sir. Sorry, the alrighty was out of care. Uh, what's the difficulty for it? Um... Zero. Mostly because you, yeah, mostly because you don't detect anything. Oh boy! Other than the biomass. 
All I'm getting is the foliage so far. Commander? Let's keep moving towards the console. Um, keep eye outs. It could just be the wildlife, but eyes eyes open. Commander, might I suggest the uh, the ship give a scan? See if there's anything big near us? Uh, Chief, with the radiation, I don't think that's going to be possible until we fix that leak or whatever it is that's causing it. Oh. Uh... I'm sure the ship would not be able to to scan it due to the leak, but also because the wildlife is so massive here um, that it would just confuse the current the uh, Sarex, uh sensors. All right, very good, Commander. Uh, this way, and I start heading toward the uh, the sound with uh, a tricorder in one hand and phaser in the other. The doctor also has his tricorder in one hand, phaser in the other. And so as you guys probably move maybe another, I don't know, let's call it 50 meters in, deeper into the forest, closer to um, what you're following. Uh, actually, I think I'll just type this to him. There we go. Commander, there appears to be, a, uh, I believe, a small robot moving through the f uh, forest uh, just from our position. It's definitely a small robot. Very well, Lieutenant. Uh, let's try not to provoke it. I've uh, seemed to lost visual on it anyway, Commander, but I do stress caution and I do, uh, once again, reckon we should keep moving uh, as quickly as possible. Well, let's continue towards the, the consoles at. All right. Do... All right, so as you guys continue a little bit further, um, you guys come up to um, what looks like an oversized sunflower that has a purple head. What the? Um, so, so really quick, um, who failed the second uh, check I had you guys roll? That gave you the complications. I did. The doctor. Okay. I think everybody but Wyatt. I think that's right. Yeah, Wyatt was the only one that made that check. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so everybody failed that one. Cool. Except for Wyatt, he passed both. Yep. Cool. All right, so as you guys approach them, for the people that failed that check, uh, you start to be overcome with a sense of fear. I stop in my tracks and, and start breathing heavy. And by all means, I want you guys to role play that. What the hell is that thing? <sighs> and and I start having um, I start <sighs> hypo spray, anti anxiety to try to calm myself, and I back away. <sighs> Can okay. I make a command can, or a um, can I make a command like try and get the group together uh, and well, uh, my focus of lead by example like since I'm not infected I'd be like come on guys get a grip um I'll tell you what, um, I think what we could do is uh, 
probably presence command, and we'll kind of roll it against everybody else. So it'll be kind of like an opposed check. If uh, if your score beats theirs, they'll kind of follow your lead in that case. And if you and if they don't, then um, you'll have to try something else. Okay. And is the difficulty or any like it will lead by example? Uh, my focus sort of have any impact on it? Um. Oh, uh, the focus would. Uh, you see where it says focus used. You would just yep. double click yes, and then it it expands your critical hit range. I do not see an option. For oh wait, yeah, no, never mind. I see it. So then, I think I said presence command for that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, you did. Presence command, focus used, yes. And then keep in mind, you guys have five uh, momentum if you would need to use it. Oh, yeah. Should I use a momentum for this? Because then they could like, get everyone sort of working. I would think so, because the commander probably has more command than you and might beat you in the role. Well, I was going to ask if I could do an insight command with my composure to kind of regain, get out of the state of the fearfulness. Um. Let's try this roll first, just to see what happens, and then we'll explore other options. Uh, so yeah, I'll use um, a momentum then, unless anyone massively objects. No. Nope. Go ahead. No objection. Uh, do I put that like in challenge dice? Put one? Uh, no, so where it says task roll, instead of having the two highlighted, you would highlight the three. And then that would roll three dice for you. And the rest of us are doing present presence command as well. Yeah. Yep. So everyone's going to roll presence command, and if your score is lower than Lieutenant Wyatt's, um, you are going to follow his example and kind of move toward him. If you fail, you're going to sit there. Uh, yeah. So all of you guys are kind of coaxed by. Uh, Lieutenant Wyatt toward him, and I, whatever you were doing. Lead on, guy with better phaser than me, sir. Oh, jeez, I don't want to be here. Well, obviously, while I was trying to keep a watchful eye, I think I'm just going to sort of try and look to see what ex what is different about this plant other than the fact it's got a purple head and it's a massive sunflower. Ooh. Watch out for spikes. It's a battle kit all over again. I'm definitely not touching it. Um, how about roll me insight medicine? And to see if you could get that information by looking at it. Uh, we'll, we'll go difficulty two. And then with your thing, you could probably, yeah, cool. So that, yeah, then with your thing, we could probably just decrease that to one. So I think this will work. Sweet. Um, what exactly was it, though? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right. That's what it was. By the way, about to roll a challenge dice to see if I uh, kept my determination spend from earlier. I keep forgetting about veteran. It, it's supposed to happen every time I use it. Commander, the plant seems to be putting out uh, some sort of pollen that's definitely filling the entire room. Doctor, have you got anything that you could potentially counter its effects? I mean, if it's an an allergic, like allergy type reaction, yeah, that's fairly easy to fix. But if it's something more, uh, it can I do an insight medicine? Um, or no? Probably not. Okay. 
Just because uh, you guys are still kind of gripped a little bit by the fear of the thing. Okay. Um, well, then my my course of action would have been antihistamines, since that's all I could probably think about right now. Because pollen. Right. Although I do kind of want to see if I could use a value to try and make that roll again, that fear roll again. Well, the the fear roll kind of already hit you guys. Like you're you're already. Okay. I mean, you're, you're already break it. it. Yeah, if no, I no, could. yeah, no. You guys are already kind of hit by it. Okay. And there's reasons why you can't. Yep, that's fine. Commander, if you can uh, compose yourself for a moment, do you have any? Is there anything that you think we should do at this stage? So we're not, is the terminal that we're looking for, is it where the plant's at, or is it just... No, it's, it's, it's still past the plants. Maybe I've... if we carry Maybe if we carry along and then move further away from the plant, you might get a bit of cohere, cohere, coherent again. Yeah. Let's move past the plant and towards the uh, terminal that we're looking for. Um, I would say we can't destroy it because I'm assuming that drone is going to come after us if we do. Let's carry forward. Okay. All right. Okay. So you guys continue walking through the forest, and eventually, um, you guys come up to um, what looks to be a waterfall along the opposite, along what looks to be the opposite wall of the side you came in on. And all of your scans seems to pinpoint that behind the waterfall is where all the control systems are for the for this part. Is there, like any, all, is, there a, is there any obvious path or like is it literally just uh kind of like a lagoon with a waterfall um across the water? Uh it's probably um let's see. There's probably a little path that leads up uh to maybe like a little cave that's just behind the waterfall. So, so the terminal is behind the the waterfall. Yeah, in in a in probably a little cave type room behind the waterfall. Well, uh, Lieutenant Wyatt, uh, take point and uh, proceed with caution towards the, uh, I guess the the waterfall. Yeah, yes, sir. And I do just that. All right. So uh, you guys head up the path and enter through the cave. And uh, you eventually come to an actual room that has, uh, you know, a bunch of computer terminals, probably around all of them. Uh, the computer terminals are powered on. Um, however, you can't read them as yet, as you feel they're probably going to need to be translated. I take out my um, my imager and start taking pictures of everything. Lieutenant Silo, see if you can't um, decipher this uh, language. I'll see what I can do, sir. All right, so this one is probably going to be either reason or insight. Uh, using engineering or science, uh, base difficulty two. Uh, please adjust for whatever um, complications you guys have from the earlier rolls. Um, computer systems, give me a focus. Uh, yeah. 
can I assist with my command presence? Uh, probably not. Could order me to help. Could I with my science skill? Yeah, probably the scientific people could probably assist. I would say Mir then. Reason science? Uh, yep. I believe that should do it, right? Yeah. Difficulty two, right? Raise to three. Sorry, yeah. yeah but three with Disregard the... that zero, because I rolled two instead of one. Sorry. Uh, who is the main guy rolling? It was Silo. So it was a uh, difficulty two, and I failed the first one, so I think it's difficulty three total. Yeah, but then the assist from the doc. Yep. Yep. And, I, and, I, and I got one. Um, it, it seems like uh, most of these terminals are uh, dedicated to maintaining this ecosystem. Um, and measure things like uh, water, soil, and air quality. Um, there isn't any direct voice interface in this system. Do you think you can change the uh, air filtration to filter out the pollen that we encountered? I could definitely try. Um, it's a, a little bit harder with uh, the smell still in here. Are any of you skilled with computers as well? I am, sir. Chief, help Chief, him out. Hi, Commander. Wouldn't your Xeno technology give you a focus for this? I, I would think so. Either that or computer systems. What am I rolling again? Sorry. Well, first, what are you guys? What are you guys doing? Exactly. Um, Lieutenant Silo and I believe um, Master Chief Tear are attempting to find a way to get the air to filter out some of this smell, um, so we have a little bit better time maneuvering about. Okay. Uh, so. As you guys step up to the uh, the panel and start trying to to uh, uh, enter codes, you hear a mechanical voice come up and says, "Please repeat your inquiry." Is, is it speaking our language? Yes. The uh, you you guys did translate the the computers. Oh, that's right. That was, yeah. that was, that was the. I over to. Uh, Commander Prax for a, a bit of guidance. Is there a database for um, access, I guess, wildlife uh, database, see if we can't find what that odd-shaped sunflower is and hopefully get the computer to filter out the pollen in its uh, systems? We need a HEPA filter stat. Uh, Commander, might I suggest we just try and filter all the air in this um, in this room? Maybe just uh, instead of focusing just on the sunflower. That's actually That's actually a good idea. You don't know what other Psycho psychoactive chemicals are in the air further down. It seems like I had inhaled something that affected me uh, before we had even encountered the sunflower. Same here, sir. We, we all got it hit by that, but that could have been who knows how long that pollen has been generated throughout the entire station. Program, see if you can't Program the uh, computer with um, work, do or Dr. Mir. Uh, Mir. Uh, work with uh, the chief in silo to 
see if you can't program uh, this computer. The I'm trying to think of the proper words for it. Sorry. You you want us to filter out the pollen? No, our biological basically make it the atmosphere more sterilized. Safe, sterilized for us. Okay. Wait, I'm I'm no botanist, but um, doesn't that mean that it couldn't that affect the plants and hurt them as well, sir? Hmm. Uh, I don't know if xenobiology works on plants. I think that would be xenobotany, wouldn't it? Biology covers plants, in the sciences anyway. Yeah, would. Be bot would I be a know? botany check. Yeah, it would be. Uh, I mean, your concerns are, are relevant, but I don't think that with the time we're here that the lack of pollen would hurt anything. Because you saw the size of that plant. That plant probably replenishes pollen fairly quickly. Just looking at the size of it. I don't have any experience with them, but didn't you say you have some sort of protective suit back in the shuttle? Yeah, we do have EV suits. I, yeah. At least maybe like, can you quarantine this this cave? Is the cave we're in at? Can we quarantine this cave to where it's more hospitable for us and just not the arboretum? Can you find a way that's that possible so we can breathe easier and relax for the time being I'm, while we I figure mean, out the other issues that are plaguing this station? Uh, that shouldn't be too hard to do. I just wouldn't suggest opening the door to the Arboretum anytime soon until we're ready to leave. Right, but we need to access this console and be able to work with it functional. Okay. Uh, are the environmental controls on this terminal? Uh, well, they're dedicated to maintaining the water, soil, air quality, so more than yeah. likely. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Chief, if you would input these uh, ratios, we might be able to do something about at least this room. And I'll assist him in doing the computer stuff. Very good, sir. I'll get right on it. So the attempt is to change the uh, environment in this chamber so we're it's livable for us. Okay, so, um, so as you guys start to do that, um, the mechanical voice says, that is not correct. Please repeat your inquiry. Clarify. That is not a valid question. Purpose. Please repeat your inquiry. Computer, what is your purpose? And uh, so as you guys are going, uh, the voice becomes more mechanical in responses. That is not correct. Computer, what is the purpose of the station? That is not a valid question. All right, the computer's broken. What are valid questions? Please repeat your inquiry. State valid question. That is not correct. Stupid thing. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that the uh, uh, system's malfunctioning. I type in. I type into the computer um, a search of botany experiments. Just like as a search parameter, because I believe that he said before that it didn't have a vocal thing. That was a typo on my part. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. Then. Then. It, I mean, but I'm, I'm still like, going to do that. Type it into the as like a search query about botany experiments. Chief, please repeat your inquiry. Chief Silo, 
can you uh, see if you can't find a self-diagnostic um, subroutine? And I'll start typing away, trying to discover something. It appears to be mostly uh, activated with voice, unfortunately. Computer, start diag uh, start uh, diagnostic, please. Intruders detected. Security alert. Ah, oh, god damn it! Intruders detected. Security alert. I'm gonna put my head outside the uh, the cave entrance. Well, looks like we're about to meet the locals. And as you do that, you see um, f three um, robots kind of making their way toward the waterfall. Uh, and these are kind of large. A little bit larger than a human. Commander, we're about to have some very mechanical guests. Computer, cancel security alert. There are no intruders. Intruders detected. Does where the chamber we're at just dead ends, right? Yes. Okay, so one way in, one way out. Yep. Defensive dis uh, position. Aye, sir. Oh yeah, set my staser to full my staser, my phaser to full stun, and take position outside the cave uh, entrance. All right. I think actually this would be a good time to probably switch to some type of combat thing so you guys can see it. Uh, oh, you guys never made that combat sheet. No, this will work. We'll make it up as we go. Since you guys like... Uh... Where is everybody? Actually, I don't think anyone who advocated for the visuals is here. Oh, cool. That, and then, was, that was Kerr and Sturel, I think. Then forget him. Cool. All right, so, uh, so really, so you guys have the waterfall, and then right behind you is the control room. And right now, the robots are kind of making their way up the path in kind of like a single file line. And are winding their way up the path. So I would just need to know who is where. Silo will take cover uh, behind the computer system he was working at. Okay. Um, yeah, Mir is taking cover too. But phaser out on full stun. Yeah. All right. I'll be as far back as I can with my phaser out. I'll Finding be near cover Wyatt. I can get. I'll be near Wyatt. I didn't specify, but I think it goes and said that I also have my phaser out. Okay. So I just need to know what everybody is doing during this. I am taking cover until a plausible threat has been actually been seen. Can I can I try and scan uh, the robots from this distance and see if I can find any sort of weakness? Uh, probably not from where you're at, because you're you're kind of inside the cave and and they're like outside of it. Like, like Wyatt and the commander are kind of like just out peeking out from the waterfall, looking at them, and you guys are still in the control room. Got it. Okay, um, if they enter the cave, then that's what I plan to do. As I, when I was exit the cave to join Y, uh, Lieutenant Silo, find a way if you can deactivate um, those robots. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, so I think we are, I think we are going to start with um, you guys, because you guys are kind of on alert. Um, who wants to go take their task first? I think we will enter combat. I will. Uh, I'm guess I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the first shot. Okay. Uh, and what do you want me to roll for that? 
All right. So to so it depends on what you're what you're doing. If you're trying to um, punch them or shoot them, it's a different role. I'm going to be shooting them. They're, they're, right. they're far away enough to be sure. <laughs> <but> one, <yeah. laughs> yeah. So this one is going to be control security. Um, the base difficulty is two. Um, and I'm going to use my focus of Starfleet ranged weapons. Uh, yep, that will work for me. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So I'm just reading through my things quick. All right, cool. So that hit, and actually, let me double check your character sheet really quick. Uh, where is your character? I just got to double check your weapons. I uh, minus the two off phaser type two. Um, yeah, so that's not how these go. Uh, phaser type two is that. Two or three challenge dice. I think it's three, three. right? It's three. All right. Yeah, because uh, when you when you push damage, all you're going to do is you're going to hit that little Starfleet icon that's in the weapons on the bottom for the weapon type, and it's going to automatically add in your security. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you d you minus your security. Yeah, yeah. No, right. right. Yep. So now it should work. All right. Okay. So eight, damn. Uh, so, so as you kind of shoot your phaser, you kind of hit the first one in line, and it kind of uh, overloads and falls backwards to the ground. Fantastic. Um, and then the question is, do you guys want to keep the initiative or pass the turn? Well, not all of us are shooty shooty, so we might want to keep the momentum. Agreed. Let's hold on. Let's uh, pass the turn. All right. Do you want Silo to try and find a way to turn them off? Or be on you. We're in combat, so that will be when on your turn. Oh, okay. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and move to their turn then. Um, the Second one in line is going to try to shoot at uh, the person that shot the phaser. I am going to spend three threat here to buy two dice. Or, yeah. Ooh, it would help if I selected stuff, huh? Probably. There we go. I'm going to spend four, to neg four threat to negate that complication. So I'll hit. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, one point of damage. OK, uh, where do I put that on my sheet? Uh, under stress. You, I think it, there's like little bubbles yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. You just kind of click one. And then the turn will pass to you. I'll go next. Um, I will use the direct command. Uh, Wyatt, uh, target the the one that just fired at you, and you get to go again. Okay, fantastic. So that's just exactly the same again. Ro yep. Roll dice and then, okay. Yep. And I get an assist, right? Um, I believe yes. Um, but you guys are at so you're at plus one momentum. Uh, so you're at seven, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, same thing with that one. And then you got a bonus momentum here, so you either got to use it or let's, lose it. Uh, let's spend the momentum to keep the uh, initial, essentially. So we'll go down to five. Yep, cool. So who wants to go next? Anyone's able to take a shot. I've got pack tactics, which means you will gain a bonus momentum. If you uh, am I am I in, can I see them from where I'm at or no? Uh, you can kind of see them through the water, yeah. 
Sure, why not? Let's let's take a shot. Uh, so, oh, you could see your your team members, but not the robots. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, because I got, I believe I got you in the command room, kind of like in the middle of it. Okay, and move movement's a minor action. So, I guess I'm gonna move to the mouth of the cave on the other side. Like okay. next to them, but on the other side of the cave, or wherever we are. Okay. So I can get a shot at them. All right, you can try. Uh, All right. Go ahead and roll damage. God, what is what with your damage tonight? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take the damage, but I'm gonna spend four threat to avoid the in injury. Because you guys are killing it tonight. Um, and then it'll pass back to them. Uh, I'm going to spend one threat to buy a dice. And this robot is going to try to throw a net on the good doctor. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, uh, actually, so, uh, Doctor, you're gonna actually going to take nine uh, points of damage here. Oh, wow. And, and you're going to be knocked down and captured in a net. Okay. Is there anything I can do to negate some of that? Isn't that an uh, injury? Yeah, it will be an injury, but you could spend your determination to avoid it. But there's no really nothing you could do to prevent the damage. Well, yeah, I'm going to prevent the injury. Uh, I'm going to use my value fight over flight. You don't, I love, yeah, you don't, you don't use the value when oh, you're just avoiding the injury. Yeah, you, just the spend of determination helps you avoid the injury. Okay. But you lose the protection, so the next injury you would take makes it a lethal injury. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'll that'll pretty much do it. Yeah, but uh, you are still knocked down and captured in a net. Yep, but I'm awake, so correct. That's all that matters to me right you're now. Not, yeah, you're not knocked out from it. Uh, cool. So the turn passes back to you guys. To one of the two guys that are still in the command room. Um, command room. Silo. Silo. Yeah, Silo will go. Um, I'll also move to the mouth of the cave and try to take a shot at the last robot. I was commanded to try and find a way to shut him off, so it only seems logical to shoot them. Can I see um, I think there's too many people at the doorway for you to get a, get good, a good shot. shot. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll, can I move through the doorway and, and stand in front of them? You could also maybe... Is it an electrical net covering the doctor? Just like a net. Like an actual net. You might be, try to assist and get the doctor out of the net and into safety. But he'd be countermanding your order. This is true. And I meant by console work because I know uh, Lieutenant Silo is not so much the great in terms for phaser fire. It's not awful. My uh, my security is two, and what is it? Control usually. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Control is ten, so it could be worse. If I can move through everyone and try and fire, that's what I'll do. And uh, I'd like to use an extra momentum or use momentum for an extra dice. Like, because, like, the way I have them set up, they're kind of covering the doorway right now. So, like, going through them would be problematic. Well, the doctor's knocked over. He can, he can possibly move over him. Yeah. All right, I'll let you do it, but I'm going to increase your complication range by one. And keep in mind, any other penalties you have are still in effect. Is there anything uh, stopping me from assisting him? Uh, it's a 
you already went is what's right, happening. Okay. okay, cool. Just I did think that, but I was just making sure. To to assist, you have to do it on your turn and when you're in combat rounds. Right. Okay. All right. I'll uh I'll give it a try. I suppose. Um. Control security. Your complication range is going to be three. Okay. You, uh, if you're wanting to, uh, you're also going to need a. Since you're firing the weapon, you're going to be a difficulty of three. So you're going to need so to buy dice. To... Um, how many? Do you think I should try and roll four of them? How much momentum do we have? Uh, I got you at six. I'll buy two more. So I'll roll four total. Pass roll four. Okay. Uh, that is not a roll. Yeah, you got um, to control do... security for Oh, gotcha. My bad. Is that damage I rolled? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you hit him anyway. And do you want me to roll a, another damage then? Uh, just go back to your weapon. Yeah, just go back to your weapon and re-roll the damage. Four, five. Hmm. Cool. Uh, yeah, so he falls. Nice. And then I'll uh, I'll try to uh, assist the good doctor. Okay. Well, so you already went. Um, and again, from the computer, you hear where the hell is my uh, intruders detected? Security alert. Is it possible to do a site to site transport? I don't know if the Type 7 show has transports. It does, I believe. N no, but can't... Uh, I mean, it may, but can't we spend a momentum to say we brought pattern buffers? So, as you guys are talking, you notice that the temperature has dropped drastically. I move over to the console and start trying to... Uh, oh, shoot. I'll try. I try to open up a panel and just start trying to uh, wire, uh, rewire it to get access. Philo will assist him. Is is the person at the op station going to notice that the environmental controls are going all funny and that there's phasers being fired? Uh, the ship can't detect anything that's going on on the station because of the radiation. That was that was part of the issue. I'm if I'm out of. If they've got me out of the net, I'm going to ask for my bag because I know I have hyposprays to fix myself. Okay, so first things first. Um, Chief, uh, your task is going to be um, it's going to be an extended task. Uh, work track 10, magnitude 2, difficulty 3. And on top of whatever else difficulties you get associated with this. Is that something Silo can assist with? Uh, no, because I'm doing this right at the end of combat. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So then next time, yes, but this time it's going to be just him. Are we staying in combat? For this one turn, and then I got something else I need you to do, and then it'll go out of combat. All right. How much momentum do we have? Three. I would like to spend two of that momentum. Uh, or two dice, is that correct? Uh, you're going to have to spend all three to get two dice. So like to buy one dice, it's, oh, yeah, um, yeah. it's one momentum. To buy two, it's two more. And then to buy three, it's three more. So to buy two you're dice, right, you got to spend yeah. three momentum. Uh, OK, I'll look into buy two dice then. OK. A lot of momentum. That. So that is uh, four dice. That's how math works. 
Yep. Um, and computers focus. Uh, yeah. Or reverse engineering. Uh, computers would work. Okay. Uh, reason. Uh, sorry, what was the test again? My bad. Oh shoot. Uh, let me pull that up. Do, do, do. I don't. You know, I don't even think I said that. Reason uh, engineering. Control or daring engineering is what I have. I'll go with daring. Um, can I bullcrap anything else to get this to work? Uh, I don't want to challenge a fo uh, my value yet. I'm not that desperate. Um, I am using a focus. Okay. And complications too. Okay. Haha. -ha. Holy crap. Uh, what did I say difficulty was? Uh, and, base and did, three, it's four for me. All right, so it's four. So you got seven, so you got three momentum out of that. And then uh, roll, oh, what was it? Uh, two plus your engineering score. So roll seven challenge dice. And make sure you hit enter after you put the number in for challenge dice. Otherwise, it will not work. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that is six work, and you get a breakthrough which means it's not you just need one more breakthrough in order to achieve this um and it also decreases the difficulty by one um so we are now out of combat however i need everybody to roll me um oh what was it what was that roll was it command fitness for for what uh, whatever the hell. Command control. Yep, that was it. Command control. Everyone roll me command control again and increase and uh, adjust the difficulties as required for what uh, was in the, what everything was in the past. What is current difficulty? Uh, wh whatever um, whatever uh, oh, the difficulty is two and then add in whatever. Okay. Whatever you guys need to. Can I use momentum for this one? Or yes, should... that's yes. Okay, I, I'd I'd like to use one more if possible. Uh, who who is that? Philo. Yep. Go ahead. Roll one more dice. Nice. So I succeed this one finally. Yep. But uh, remember, you got to tell me that you're gonna buy momentum before you roll. Okay. My bad. I'm in too much pain to do it to get through this. I'm going to buy a momentum to roll an extra dice. All right, so I've got one momentum left. I would like to challenge the value nothing beats Federation Engineering oh. of being faced with better. Sorry, what? Oh, the roll. Right. Uh, does anybody else? So the doctor so far failed, the prax failed. Who else needs to go? I am. I'm trying to get my determination back um uh would like to challenge nothing beats federation engineering on the basis that we're being crushed by alien tech right now uh to get a determination point back okay um let me th let me think if i'm gonna allow it sure <laughs> uh, excuse me Who's she by looking at? Chiefs, okay. What's determination? Uh, uh, you get to use it with the values in order to do certain things, like uh, to like try to get like automatic successes. Um, you can use them to like avoid an injury. Um, you can use them with some talents. Okay. I, I don't know if challenging that in this situation is going to work. Like, I'm having a hard time understanding that one. Yeah. Can I use my value, uh, risk is our business, um, to spend my determination to re-roll those two zeros? Uh, yeah, that would be fine. Okay. I'll have to roll. Uh, we're down to one momentum. Yes. Um, I need to release that. I'm going to spend that last momentum. 
Ok. Ah, one short. All right, cool. Where was my thing? All right, so for everyone that failed this one, um, essentially what's going to happen is uh, who all failed it? Everyone but Wyatt. <laughs> Silo. In Silo, yeah. Okay, so I am going to spend three threat, and you guys are going to go off the chains with fear, as in you cannot partake in any more task for the duration of whatever's going on here. So, like, you guys are so overcome with uh, with fear and paranoia that you guys just kind of shut down and, like, are in fetal positions, rambling nonsensically, and all that fun stuff. Um, going, Silo is going to uh, try and finish what... Um, the chief engineer was doing if possible then yep so that is going to be uh either control and daring plus engineering um as an extended task and we'll deal with the rest of that later it's a uh, base difficulty three so you might need to adjust for um base two because of the magnet from the breakthrough earlier. oh yes 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 you are correct it is base difficulty two you are correct thank you and we're out of momentum, right? Correct. Bummer. You could always spend threat to give to buy more dice too. Oh really? Um okay, I'm I might as well do that because this seems kind of important. So um I can only buy one one more dice with threat. You could spend as many you can use threat like momentum. It's just so, so the more dice dice you buy, the more, more threat, threat I get. I get. Um I, I'm I just I don't want to make you too powerful. I'll I'll only take one for now. Okay, so you'll roll three dice, and uh, what's your difficulty then? Um, what's the base difficulty? It was two. It was two. So it'd be three for me. Okay, and you did not pass the check. So uh, as you get there, you he hasn't rolled yet. Oh, Jeez. that was the cheese roll. Never mind. Never mind. I I oh you typed. That's I thought it was the roll. Okay. Uh, uh sa same result. Uh, so yeah, so you try to get to the panel and you have no idea what the chief was doing. So you base, so you, you don't have to start over, but you have to try try to figure out what he was doing. Um, can I do anything with my value thorough and analytical to try and maybe like counteract that or like re-roll a dice? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Should I just do task roll one? Um, I think it'll be. Two, because I think you would reroll the two zeros if I'm not mistaken. And you made them worse. Uh, so I'm going to spend a complication. Uh, roll that command and control roll again. Is that every, uh, everyone? Uh, just just uh, L Lieutenant Silo. Um, yeah. So, uh, Lieutenant Silo, um, you kind of start working, and then you just kind of run off through the waterfall and deeper into the forest. In a mad lunatic's rave. Who's still lucid? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um, Quiet. I'm currently between... Just trying to stun him or grab him. Have I got the opportunity to grab him? Uh, no, he, he took off far too quick. He's gone completely. Like, I can't see him or anything. Right, yeah, he just started darting toward the forest. Later. Would I be able to ping them? Like, to as a check to see if they're okay? Because I okay. don't know anything. So is there I'm... any way... I, I don't think in this case, because they haven't tried to contact you, 
Yeah, so, but like a scheduled. Hey, are I, you I, 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 I know, but uh, not in this situation. I mean, at this stage, I'm going to tr- probably try and uh, contact the ship. Um, what I was thinking was doing some sort of relay between me to the shuttle and then using the shuttle as like a enhance uh, subspace transmitter. If that's possible. I, know, I literally don't think I'll be able to roll for this, but I can't you, roll for options. You can't do it from here. Okay. Could I use the station systems? Um, if you could figure out the the systems, can I make a command insight to kind of regain a moment of composure? No, you guys are gone. Sorry, we're essentially injured out of the scene, mentally yeah. speaking. Yep. Are they if going anywhere? Up, we are fracked. Like, are they literally just sort of, like, unconscious, or are they just, like, immobilized with fear, then they're not going to leave the cave? Yeah, for the ones that are in there, they're just immobilized with fear. I'm thinking of running back to the show. And you do notice, as you're kind of thinking of what to do, that the temperature does get even colder. Um, I'm going to attempt to use my communicator and uh, as a one-off chance that it might get through. Okay, so this one is going to be... Um, control Engineering Difficulty 2. Um, Captain, do me a favor. Can you roll the ship's, um, oh, what do I want the ship to roll? Uh, communications and, uh, engineering. I think that'll work. All right, so Captain, on board the ship, you kind of hear like a garbled, Attempt at communication. Can we clean that up, Ops? I don't know who's at your Ops. It would be an NPC. Me and Michaelson are the only people, only players on the ship. All right. Uh, yeah, so just grab an NPC, I guess, and then have them attempt the role. Uh, probably the same role that uh, that uh, Lieutenant Wyatt did. And what was that? That was uh, control engineering. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Uh, I got it. No. Oh well, I don't have it because that's a null attribute. Good try. It you did it wasn't select right. All right. Um, I don't know whose character is rolling what. <laughs> I I was using Leva to roll. Engineer. Oh, I used the science officer. All right. Well, we we'll use a uh, Michaelson for a roll for the ship. And that's communications engineering. Uh. Yep. Uh, and you find no way that you can clean it up. Nothing I can do on this end, Captain. So I think we'll head back to uh, Wyatt. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to head back to the shuttlecraft, uh, sort of like try and let the commander know what, like, what I'm going to do, give him some sort of coherent instruction to stay put and not move. 
Okay. I'm going to spend two threat. Uh, roll that um, command and uh, what the control again. Difficulty two. Sorry, I'm just looking for my sheets quick. And we're dead. Fantastic. And as you start to step into the forest, you take one large uh, whiff of the air, and you two succumb to that, and it actually knocks you out. Can and I we'll, we'll go back to the captain. Yep, we'll go back to the captain. I'm going to order security to, since I can't raise them, I'm getting garbled transmissions. I'm going to order um, basically all five of our our support characters with. Um, You've already used one. For our for the scan, the scan would have used the one support. Okay, I'll use Michelson and four of our support crew with um, full, like, shit hit the fan um, kind of kit, because I don't know what's going on. Break out type three phasers. <laughs> Can I make a suggestion out of game? Yeah, because I think he needs it. So instead of sent, you don't know. Like, Starfleet Protocol, like, you lost communication, you don't know what's going down there, so Protocol would be probably to move the ship closer and maybe try to beam us off the station if our comm badges, you can pick them up. Because I believe the ship moved to more safer range. It was in close range, wasn't it? Yeah, we never moved the ship a second time. Someone did say they moved the ship to a closer range, so that is correct. Right, I yeah, thought it I moved thought away. No, we we're we're staying. We I never ordered the ship to move again. So my suggestion is to scan for life form or scan for the com badges to see if you can't lock on and beam us off. Okay, I'm a, yeah. I, for some reason, I had it in my mind that we couldn't scan y'all enough to beam y'all out. That's what I thought too. Yeah, but our comm badges, our comm badges, are on a subspace. They're they're like our communication, but for the tracking purposes, it's kind of on the same bandwidth kind of situation. I think. Yeah, like when they um, track or scan uh, for people, sometimes they use their comm badges. Like obviously, watching the series, sometimes they hide their comm badges somewhere to fool the enemy. Or yeah, it's worth a shot, I guess. They're like then they're I'm, like built-in GPS. Then I'm gonna order the ops person to try to um, find com badges and see if we can determine the status of the crew, and if we can't, to try to beam out whatever com badges I can detect. All right. Uh... I think at this point, it's going to need to be one order. It's not going to be do this and this. It's going to have to be one. So Ops the order would be... Scan for him and relay. Ops can scan for him, relay me as Michael send the information, and I can beam him out. Again, that's two orders. Because the, the captain's original order was scan for him, see what's going on, and then do that. There's no yeah. time to do all that. Okay. Can me, as Michelson, just basically get a lock on them and just beam them out? Just get a lock on the comm badges and beam them out. Yeah, I'm just trying to see what the role is for that. Probably daring engineering. Although you get a control different, engineering. it it gets a it gets a um, you get a buff if you do it from a transporter room. Yeah, uh, but uh, according to him, I don't have time to move from my console, so that's I'm true. Have to do it from there. Yeah. So yeah, if if it's control, 
and engineering. I think that'll be fine because I can't find the page right now. Two two four, I think. That's close. My thing yeah. is though, you might want to use a support character that's in the transporter room because that reduces the difficulty down by one. Yeah, we, uh, we, we, yeah, and I got to think yeah, of what the difficulty is going to be. So it's not on a pad, and it's probably going to a pad. Yeah. So that'll put base at three. You guys are spread out, so I think I'm going to increase the difficulty further for that. Uh, then you have to go through the interference. interference. Which makes it difficult to be five. Yep. I think that's a winner. And we have no momentum, right? Correct. Dang. Oh, dang. Might yeah. think they're just to save the crew. Hate to say that. But. <laughs> yeah, because right now your only option for a, a chance at a four is an engineer who has mediocre no. stats with transporters as a focus. Yeah, I don't want to try even try for a difficulty six. Leva has a uh, focus in transporters. Yeah, that's what I was like. She's really our own. Yeah, but right, now she, but right now she's at the ops station. Because that's where I just NPC'd her. I'm sure you can control transporters from ops. Because ops yeah, is it, an it, operational it, thing, isn't it? You, you can, I can, you can it but it's more... Any you, you know you what? You can do it from anywhere you know what? just make the difficulty higher. You know what? How about this? I'm going to use my character. I'll do a difficulty six. I'm going to give you six threat, like an idiot. So I can roll... No. I'm going to give you three threat, so I can roll four dice on mine. Okay, um, I think it's still a base difficulty five. It's just if you did in the transporter room, it would make it four. Okay. Uh, yeah. I so have it's... a focus for computers. Hey, real real quick. I don't think you, the computer focus is not going to give you for transporters. But if you use Leva, she has a focus in transporters. This is the second time she's being used. This session, which means yeah. you can give her a focus or not focus, but a uh, value. No, no, you, no, you can't. She's already been used. She's already been brought That's in. Right. She's no, already been brought in. No. But she was used during mission uh, episode ten, or yeah, episode ten. I am both she? engineers were. Yeah, both engineers were. Okay. Yeah. Now you could give her something. Yes. You continue. Uh, I, th I thought. I thought you said this mission. It doesn't work no, for no. this mission. Yeah. She's being used this mission, but she was used that would before. Give, that would give her a value and a determination, right? Right. Okay. Uh... I guess. No room for error makes sense because both times it's been kind of life and death for someone does. involved. Because last it time it does. was like if she didn't keep her head down, she'd die. Like if she yeah. didn't focus on the task. So uh, I'm still going to give you. I'll, I do want to spend this determination for a uh, d20, that one. If I can do that. So are are you using your character or the or the um NPC the support Either way either way the stats are going to be the same She just has the focus is the is the issue Yeah she has the focus but what I'm thinking of doing I might not even need to worry about a focus cuz it's difficulty 5 right Uh base difficulty 5 correct Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use my character uh, throughout the handbook and wrote my own for a value. Okay. Uh, D20 nat 1. Uh, also going to give you 5 threat. Okay. And 
here goes nothing. Ha! Yes, and a moment. Five, six. So uh, I just, close. I just need the ship. The oh. ship gets the assist. Uh, sensors engineering. Okay, hold on, coming up. Sensors engineering. Focus. Yes. Roll. All right. Cool. Nice. cool. Two, two momentum. So you got. Yep. Cool. All right. So Ensign Michelson, as you guys, as uh, everyone on the crew is kind of. Of or everyone on the ship is kind of thinking of what to do next. He just kind of takes the initi initiative from everybody and transports the crew directly into the uh, onto, into the transporter room where they materialize. Yeah. <sighs> transporter room. This I is believe we're Lefka. The Lieutenant Wyatt could probably answer. Oh, okay. Uh, I, it it could just be the guy standing in the transporter room. Yeah, that so, that's what I was doing. Lieutenant Lefka. What's the status of our crew that was just beamed aboard? Uh, let's see. I've I count three that are possibly unconscious. Uh, two of them are just. Huddled up, they they look scared out of their minds, Captain. Then, Captain to sick bay, uh, transport them directly to sick bay, and then sick bay, you've got wounded incoming. Uh, will do, Captain. Ooh, all right. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm going to end the scene here. Drop you guys the momentum. Um, okay. And uh, so since no one was injured fatally, as soon as you guys get the engineering and they start the treatment, some of you guys start to um, regain your composure, regain consciousness, and uh, the medical personnel in there say that you are out of danger and that it was a temporary effect. I look at my own scan. It says I have a concussion. Oh. Well, that was unpleasant. To say that, and least. I'm and I'm not using this for a support character reason. It it's just RP. Nurse Reaver, how long was I out? About an hour. Oh, and the rest of them? They're starting to regain consciousness. All right. Um, and then I just go, uh, Chief Medical Officer's log. There's a strange... And I just start going over what I can remember in my log, and yeah. It's like we, we stumbled upon a weird arboretum-type situation. Um, the plant life had effects mentally on the away team. Um, but now that we're out of contact, it seemed the effects have seemed to diminish in chief medical officer's log. Cool. Um, so quickly, is there anything else anybody wants to do before uh, I wrap, before I wrap this up? Yeah. I'm, I want to order that the station be, we use, I'd like to use tractor beams just to like move it out in the middle of space so that it doesn't crash into the sun so that maybe Starfleet can come back or maybe the Kismet can come back and scan it or something or deal with it. Uh, and I'd also suggest to the captain from my medical bed that we deploy warning buoys as well. It's a solid idea. Also, someone needs to retrieve the shuttle. 
Yeah. I can We can track through the Shadowland. Um you can't really technically do that because if you do that you'll cause a uh pretty much the whole arboretum to go into the vacuum of space. Yeah. Our shuttle is the seal. Huh. Yeah. So out of character that seems like a totally logical solution after all of that. So we have a choice. Well, like, like, I'd be totally fine with it. <laughs> we have a choice. We can leave it there or or we're at this end uh I don't even know if we can even send another away team over there, but they'll have to be an EV. If we if it gets I'm left sure there, we can have... um, Starfleet can probably send a more appropriate vessel to recover it. Or I'm... why don't you just uh, ha transport uh, a couple people over there, um, try and reclose the door, and then fly the shuttle back? I yeah, suggest we... EV suits, Captain. We can definitely just have some engineers spacewalk and solve that problem. They can just spacewalk and close the door or the shuttle from the outside. All right. Anyway, shuttle retrieval is not a big deal. Like you guys can beam it back for all I care. It's not a big deal. <laughs> it, it'll get back. <laughs> oh no, we were just trying to do it without destroying the plants inside. Yeah. That probably already happened. <laughs> probably. Uh, oh, the, yeah, only th good. the only thing I'm going to do is when I get access to a pad or uh, I'm released to my room, I intend to lodge formal complaints against Dr. Mir and Commander Prax. Right, yeah, you guys can do that uh, in the interim. In the meantime, I do have one more scene I need to run. Uh, Captain, you're on the bridge, I assume? I would pro I mean, I can be if you need me to, but I'd probably be headed down to Med Bay after all well, the orders. Well, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to skip ahead, um, a bit to where yeah, everyone's, then, everyone's everyone, healed up, probably back at their duty stations, whatever. Yeah. Then I'll probably just be in the ready room. All right. Well, Admiral Heppert comes onto the bridge and, uh, Asked you to join her on the bridge. I respond, I, and then I walk out onto the bridge. And she says, uh, Captain, how did uh, the shakedown cruise go? Silo is like smiling to himself. The Seric seems to have uh, no flaws so far. We've not encountered. Any issues with the Sarek? Uh, that's very good to hear, Captain, because I have been trying to pull strings with Starfleet Command. And uh, she pulls up a data pad. Attention to orders. To Admiral Heppert, Commanding Officer, USS Sarek, you are hereby requested and required to relinquish command of your vessel to Captain Starex, Commanding Officer, USS Engine, as of this date. Signed, Admiral Paris. Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Stark's auth voice authorization, Hebert, 5 Gamma Gamma. The computer replies, transfer complete. USS Sarek now under co command of Captain Starex. I reach out for the pad and nod and say, thank you, Admiral. There's one more thing you have to say. Because this is a formal Starfleet deal. Do I have oh, to, yeah. like, accept the command codes or something? No. You are relieved. You are relieved. Oh. I, <laughs> I, sent you, yeah. I sent you what, yeah. I, well, I sent you what you had to say. Admiral, I, I, I relieve you, sir, or something like that. It's something like that. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying. In, <laughs> I'm trying here. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I am relieved. I accept, Admiral, and you are relieved. I stand relieved, and I think we're going to end the episode there. Oh, man. <laughs>